Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to finish off the round 3 for group stage matches with Group H. And in this, in this video we will see Random Guy 86 taking on Arctic Warriors, Lapoke going up against Danex Tactile, and Dendro taking on Jonas. So, let's get on with the first matchup. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Random Guy 86 taking on Arctic Warriors. And up first for Random Guy 86, we have an Augustinia. And we definitely saw what it can do. Actually, Random Guy 86 was quite impressive in the in the last round. But it's gonna be tough because in the blue corner for Arctic Warriors, we have the best dinosaur in the game, the Mega Raptor. And yes, do not underestimate the power of this beast. And wait a minute, I just noticed something, like, the red bar here for Mayfly is less than it is for Hurricane B over here, that's interesting, so maybe you don't get as much of a gain when you use it on your crit, but I suppose maybe that's because, maybe it's the same, but because the crit has more attack, it like cancels it out a bit, interesting, anyway, back to the match, and well, that's the best possible start for Arctic Warriors. A crit run off the bat, and a mayfly has been triggered. Oh. Um, well that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> Poor Augustinia. Shredded to ribbons by the might of Megaraptor. Yeah, I wish my Megaraptor did that. But no, my Megaraptor doesn't do that. Um, well... Just for the type of advantage might actually help for Random Guy here, because up uh, next for him we have a Yang Chuangasaurus. Although all the dive moves could definitely come in handy to help Random Guy 86 pull this match back. Because, well, that was a very fast and furious start by um, Arctic Warriors. But Augustinia lasts in all but two seconds. Oh my god, another hit from the Mega Raptor! But not as much damage dealt because it wasn't it wasn't its crit. Oh, finally, finally the yank the random guy 86 gets a hit. Ooh, and two dives come into boot. That could be just the break random guy 86 needs to get back in this match. Although it's still a long way back as Yang Trongosaurus is doesn't have as much attack. Ooh, another crit though. Anyanguira dive, Tupu Fora dive, and Tapi Jara dive. Random Guy 86 definitely fighting back in this match. But I no, it's not lethal for Mega Raptor though. Ooh, a hurricane beat though. Big damage coming, Yang Chuangosaurus' way. Not at the woods yet, random guy. Oh dear. Well, despite a fight back from the Yang Chuangasaurus, the Mega Raptor gives Arctic Warriors a 2 0 lead. Okay, as for random guy's last dino, we have a Super Chomp. Gabu! And this beast doesn't have any dive or rush moves, instead it has all lightning moves. Um, yeah, watch out for that Gatling Spark, could do some damage and could be key for Random Guy 86 if he wants to get back in this match. Oh, for goodness sake. Um... I think, I think Random Guy may as well just wave the white flag, yeah? A Mayfly coming in from Mega Raptor. And yeah, almost killed it. Please don't be a rock, rock, rock. Okay, the Mega Raptor finally goes down, but we definitely saw what everyone else's Mega Raptors except, except mine can do. Oh yeah, I forgot. As for Arctic Warrior's second dino, we have an Alpha Sukumimus. I wouldn't count Random Guy out yet, because they will have the type advantage against this beast. Ding, 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 ding. 
So I wouldn't count Arctic Warriors out yet, and they still have that Awaken mode as well. So it could, is still all to play for, despite Random Guy being on very low health. Well, it's still all to play for unless Aqua Whip happens. Boosh. But yeah, look at that type advantage here, paying off handsomely. Oh, for good. I I'm sorry, Random Guy, I just feel bad for you. But, well, <sighs> well, that was quick, wasn't it? A bonus point win for Arctic Warriors, and be and Mega Raptor basically did all the damage. Right, update the table, and we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then. In this matchup, we see Lapoke taking on Danex Tacto, and this could be an important match for Lapoke here to close the gap on the top four. Anyway, up first for Lapoke, we have our Bertosaurus. Not much to say here since I chose the move set because they wanted me to. I mean, that's something that you usually don't do, but they seem desperate. Okay, as for Danex Tackle in the blue corner, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. I think what could be key for Lapoke here is that they need to make sure that they kill this Gigant Spinosaurus with our Bertosaurus because. Lepoke's second dino is a lightning dinosaur. And we have seen many times where the first dino's HP could be in the red, but it, just, but it somehow gets a 2 0 lead. We've seen it many times. Mm, a good start from Danex Tactile, though. A win will put Danex Tactile joint top. A bonus point win will put them top completely. Oh, that's a tie. There's the tie I can't play. Ooh, here comes Gaia Mountain from the Gigant Spinosaurus. Yeah, sorry about it. I was doing something. And I almost got carried away there with the tie. Pick the scissors, please. Almost messed it up. But the Gaia Mountain, which is going to do a serious amount of damage to our boot. Oh my god, he killed it! Um. Well, it's the worst case scenario for Lepoke, as I said, because his second dino is Alberta Ceratops, which will be a tight disadvantage against Gigant Spinosaurus. And Gigant Spinosaurus has been relatively unscathed. So I feel like this is a very good chance for Danix Tactile to build a 2-0 lead. Ooh, look, the Alberta Ceratops does get a hit, but yeah, look at that. Sig insignificant damage dealt. And one guy amounting from Gigant Spinosaurus will probably kill Alberta Ceratops. Ooh, what's this? A lightning axe coming in from Alberta Ceratops. And that will definitely help. But look how slow that look how little damage it does. Pitiful. And well, let's see how much damage this hit does. Yeah, look at that. That's like five hits from Alberta Ceratops. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, maybe a tie will be better for Alberta Ceratops because it seems to do more damage. And well, yep, Gaia Mountain gives Danix Tackle a 2 0 lead. Should I not mess this up? Well, should I get this right? Danix Tackle is going in. Ooh, ooh, almost got it wrong there. Almost clicked rotten set of paper. There. <laughs> got it right. And Danix Tactile will have a 2 0 lead. Yeah, I'm not fussed on these kind of moves, is it? you know. It's because I have to control it. And, you know, there is a risk of human error. And I don't and I don't want to cost anyone anything, so. I don't particularly like those moves. And I'd rather people not use them. But, it's your choice. Anyway, as for Lepoke's third dino, we have a Euoplocephalus. This resilient beast could be key to Lepoke getting back in this match. Well, I, 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 I feel like um, Danix Tactile has this one. But, you know, don't count the poke out yet. Boosh. 
because yeah, yeah, look at the difference already. A level, well, kind of level playing field. I, I mean, Euopolis has more like attack and um, I think has more overall attack and um, more. I know it has more HP, but I think it has slightly more attack than Gigant Spinosaurus. I'm not sure. It might actually be the same. Anyway, the Gigant Spinosaurus finally taking the fall. Oh, no, it's not. It's Revival type. <laughs> Oops. I forgot it's Revival type. Just when you thought the Pope got back in it, the Gigant Spinosaurus was having none of it. But this Quake Saber will finish it off for good this time. And the light recovery coming in will heal up the Uoplocephalus for quite a little bit. Which could be key. Oh. Not much health gain. Okay, as for Danek's tactile second dino, we have a Majungasaurus. And like against Spinosaurus, this guy's got one of the special moves as well, which means I've got to keep my wits about me if the Majungasaurus gets off E-Ray Storm. Sonic Blast and Cyclone could help Danek's tactile tighten the screw on this match. And secure that bonus point win, which will take him top. Of course, it's not set in stone. Lepoke can still come back. Oh, here we go. Air Raid Storm time. Rock, rock. Yeah, can't it just be rock, rock, paper, 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 scissors, scissors, scissors. Boosh. Yeah, like that. That was easier. Oh, and a Cyclone as well, which will tighten Danix Tactile's grip on this match. And, well, it's pretty much assured him that he'll get something out of this match, regardless of what happens. Ooh, a crit coming from you at Oplocephalus, and a big light recovery to come. Earth Barrier needs to be triggered here. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. No Earth Barrier. I think the Pope needed that. Although, another crit... Nope, still no Earth Barrier. Ooh, that's a tie. And luckily for Lepoke, the Cyclone effect is gone. Ooh, the Majungasaurus going down. Lepoke getting back in this match. And all of a sudden... <laughs> Danex Tactile down to their third Dino. But that third Dino is Super Eocarcaria. And it has the Goma moveset so you know how deadly it will be. Okay, I'll wake the mode on four. But I don't think we're going to see it. The poke not dead and buried yet. Ooh. Just once. Okay, that's a tie, but no heat eruption. Okay, that's game over for Lepoke. A hit coming in from Danix Tactile, and unfortunately, the Eocarcarius HP was above half, so no losing bonus point for Lepoke, but a valiant effort in the end. But let's not co let's not take away the fact that Danix Tactile won the match and got a deserved three points. Right, update the table, and we'll move on to our last match of this video, and the last match that will conclude round three. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Dendro taking on Jonas Chu. Up first for Dendro, we have a Ceratosaurus. Um, I honestly don't know who's going to win this match. Like, most of the time, they usually have a rough guess based on type advantages and stuff, but these two could be an even match. As for Jonas in the blue corner, we have a Baryonyx. I mean, these two are even. Then Dendro will have the type advantage against Jonas' second dino, but then Jonas will have the type advantage against Dendro's third dino, so... Again, it's an even match. But it is a chance for both of these two to put a bit of breathing space between themselves and the bottom two. But we open with a tie. And another tie. 
perfectly summed up how even this match could be. Mm, but the Baryonyx getting off a hit, and it's a neck crusher. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, what's this? It's Ocean Panic time. The Baryonyx, after multiple ties, is on top. A good start from Jonas. Ooh, but no shockwave effect, which means that Dendro still has a good, can still claw this back, and does with a critical block. Ooh, how crucial could that be? Okay, so that means that Sarasosaurus will be going for Rock, as will the Barry. And, despite having the advantage there, the Ceratosaurus goes down. And that will give Jonas a 1-0 lead. Okay, as for Dendro's second Dino, we have a Super Minus. I think, well, we've seen it before. What happens if the second Dino fails to kill the first Dino when the first Dino's HP is in the red? We've seen it happen before. Will it happen again? I mean, for Jonas' sake, I hope it will happen. But for Dendro's sake, I hope it won't. The answer to that is it no, it will not be happening and the Baryonyx will be going down. So, an even match so far, but here's where the type advantages could be key. Because if it's Jonas' second Dino, we have a Super Tarbosaurus. Okay, moveset. No, not moveset. Um, Awaker mode on three. That awaken mode could be key for Jonas here. Ooh, Futaba cannon no getting triggered. And getting activated. Big damage coming Tarbosaurus' way. Although Sukumimus has very even stats, so I don't think it'll be too much damage, but it will be a lot. And oh look at that. And a shockwave as well. A big hit from the Sukumimus there. And that definitely puts Dendro on top. Nope. Nope. Wow, and just like that, the Tarbosaurus goes down, and Dendro has a 2-1 lead. Okay, as for Jonas' final dino, we have an Allosaurus. Gonna have to pull its finger out here if Jonas wants to get back in this match. But that hurricane beat could be key. Wow, almost a thousand technique. That's pretty good. Oh, oops. Oh, rock and ooh, scissors though. The Sukamimus on top and a shockwave, which will mean no attack for Jonas next round. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so paper. Rock. Dendro on top. Dendro looking strong. Jonas not looking good. Ooh, but a hit coming from Allosaurus. And a tupu for a dive. Yeah, boosh. Sukumimus finally getting hit. Oh, another hit from the Allosaurus. Slowly but surely, wearing down the Sukumimus. Up oh, for the Sukumimus striking back and a shockwave here. Well, it might have been game over if there was a shockwave. But it doesn't matter because the Sukumimus is going to get the hit that finishes off Allosaurus and give Dendro a bonus point win. Well, I said it would be an even match. But whoever took advantage of the type advantage the best would win this match, and that was Dendro. So, that concludes round three, so it's time to look at the table, and we'll end the session. Well, look at that. You got Danix Tactile and Arctic Warriors, nothing to separate them up top. I mean, even in the matchup, they drew, so you can't separate them like that. And then we have Dendro in third, with seven points after that bonus point win over Jonas. And then we have Random Guy 86 on 5 points. 
and then we have Jonas in the bottom two one in the bottom two with four points, and then Lapoke with Zip. Wow. <laughs> um some interesting matches there, I'd have to say. Uh yeah, it's definitely still to play for. I mean, no one's guaranteed their place yet, but I think next round, a win for any of these three should do it. And, well, with Random Guy, it's it only on five points. There's still a chance for Lepoke, but Lepoke has got to win the next match, or it will be, or they will be eliminated. And who do they play next? Ooh, a tough match against Dendro, and then they finish against Arctic Warriors, so it's not going to be easy for Lepoke. As for Jonas Chu, who do they face? Actually, what next round of matches, we will see Danix Tactile taking on Random Guy 86. Good chance for Danix Tactile to book their place in the last 32. And a, also a good chance for Random Guy to put some distance between themselves and the bottom two. And then we will see Jonas Chu taking on Arctic Warriors. That's going to be tough for, De for Jonas. And, as I said, Dendro taking on Lepoke. So, I still think it's all to play for in Group H, but definite big pressure on Lepoke as, a, as another loss will result in elimination. Right, that will conclude Round 3. Stay tuned for next time, where we will kick off Group Round 4, starting with Group A. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.